Hello Yamaha fans, I'm Brian Hudgen, Public Relations Specialist for Yamaha Motor Canada. I'm here today to talk to you about the redesigned F-115, but to help me do that, I'm going to bring in JF for you, Marine Product Manager. JF? Hi you, Brian. New engine. You bet, you bet. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about it. Okay, well, before we get into details, Brian, I'd like to step back a little bit in Yamaha history. And if we think back in 1999, when we introduced the original version of the F-115, back in those days, Yamaha was the first manufacturer to offer an outboard motor four-stroke and equipped with a fuel injection system. Uh, the engine retained the same configuration. It is a four-cylinder, 16-valve, double overhead cam with direct action. This configuration over the year, Brian, has earned an incredible reputation in the Canadian market for its reliability, but also an incredible durability. Well, and another thing that I always knew them for as well was their versatility. That's right, that's right. We commonly find them on aluminum fishing boat, but this is just the name one. There's multiple applications from one coast to the other, from salt water to fresh water and so forth. But here today, we've rigged it on a fiberglass. Uh, We've seen in recent year uh, fiberglass boat builder designing sport boat model specifically for outboard motors. And this is great because it gives a, an alternative to consumer over stern drive and three liter inboard if you, if you wish. But before we get under the cowling, I'd like to take you out for a spin. Let's go, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Wow, JF, coming across the bay, it was so smooth and quiet, I didn't hear anything. What did, what did we do to this? Yeah, Brian, well, the major changes with it is we've redesigned the combustion chambers, and also we've adopted the latest technology as far as fuel injection system goes. As you know, I'm not a technical guy, so break it into layman's terms for me. What does this mean for the average boater? Well, Brian, we're talking about efficiency, so of course we're favoring fuel consumption, right? Very important. Gas yeah. is expensive. Yeah, the second thing is you could experience it on the lake there, right? The transition, the smoothness between all the different RPM ranges and how quiet it was. Uh, the one thing we didn't test, however, though, is how smooth it is and stable at trolling speed, and that's what the fisherman is looking for. Okay, Brian, now, can we take the cowling off, please? <sighs> all right. Another benefit is the simplicity of Yamaha's advanced single throttle valve design. It is essentially maintenance free, it requires no adjustment or any setting is necessary. It's all controlled by reliable sensors and the electronic control unit. Speaking of sensors, for added durability, the redesigned F-115 is now equipped with a NOx sensor. The sensor allows the engines to self-detect the combustion problem and adjust itself accordingly before damage can occur. All right, let's get this cowling back on here. And I've noticed new graphics package as well, Jeff. That's true. And also the top cowling chain has been redesigned for better air intake efficiency. It also resists the water intrusion better, which is key for our salt water market and um, preventing corrosion. All right, so the redesigned F-115 maintains all the traits the MI outboards are famous for, like reliability and durability, but now it's more efficient and it's quieter. That's an amazing thing. It looks like a good outboard to me. If you want more information, go to yamaha-motor.ca.